What the heck happened here? Oh, it moved. Okay. We have to start again. Okay, so what happened was I preheated the bed, but I preheated it to a high temperature, like 100. And then my slicer uh, program, I had it set for 70. I've been experimenting with a uh, low temperature. So it cooled down while after it started printing. And that's what caused it, that's what caused it to break loose. So I'm going to reset the uh, slicer bed temperature to 90 since we have such little area to stick it to the board and try again. Well, there it is. We'll have to compare it to the original part. So here's our comparison. On the right is the original part, on the left is the part I drew. And I'm pretty satisfied with that. The grooves aren't quite as deep in my part, but I think it's okay. Now one thing I've got here, the handle will not go in the hole, so I'm going to have to drill that out. <clears throat> and our handle is 7.85 millimeter. Change this to inches. Our handle is uh, about 310. And our hole is 288, 292. So we're, uh, even though I, in the design, made this hole larger, it's come out so much undersized that we're off uh, by quite a bit yet. So I still have to, uh, I still have to drill this out. I'll go do that, and then we'll do something interesting. So I relieved that corner on the lathe, drilled this out slightly oversized, it'll fit on there now. We still have this crimp to deal with. And now I'm going to do some acetone smoothing. And here's how I've set this up. I have a ball jar lid, a bread tie, rather long one, and I've taped the bread tie to the lid. I made a hook, it's got this little tooth, or this little tooth here, this will go in the hole and grab it, and I can use, I can use this hook to hang it under the lid. Now, I'm not sure how long this will take, probably less than 10 minutes. Acetone's an almost impossible thing to pour without spilling. Which is exactly why I put paper towels here. Okay, so I have the little scraps of paper towels in there to help evaporate the acetone quickly. 
going to hang my handle on the lid. And I'm just going to put this here so I don't knock it off. Obviously this isn't a sealed system completely. And the acetone will slowly soften the part on the surface and we should end up with a smooth surface in a few minutes. This will get rid of the striations or the layers um, and give us a smooth part. Alright, it's been a few minutes. Let's check it. I still see layering. Been a few more minutes. Oh yeah, still smells strong in there. I think I'm going to add a little more acetone. There's a cap full. Alright, it has to have been at least a half an hour. It's glossier. You can still see a the printing structure, the layers. It's amazing that it's not sticky. I'm going to put it back in there. Well, by now it's the next day. Before I retired for the evening, I hung this up to uh, dry. I didn't want to leave it in the acetone gas all night. Now today it seems to be reacting, getting that glossy look even faster. Now, when I hung it up last night, it had I could still see this granularity or this layering even down here on the tip. But when I looked at it uh, today, when I got home from work, it's smooth. Like a, it came out of a plastic mold. It's amazing. So this, as it cures, as it dries, may actually uh, transmute into this kind of glossy mirror-like surface over time. So we'll hang it up and look at it again in the morning. Here's a nice close look. A number of days have passed and I've been on and off of this project. This morning I got up early to start a print job. And I hung this in the acetone solution again. And Maybe it's finally hung in there long enough. It's uh, black is such a terrible color to do example printing with. But uh, I've put it in the solution for an hour a couple of times and it definitely is transforming it but it seems to be transforming it more on the bottom than the top. Um, so uh, this morning I put it in here and it's been in here for about two hours so I noticed that the transformation seems to also continue after you take it out of the solution. So we'll hang this up and look at it this evening when I get home. A lot of people tell me that this works very quickly, that it's not been my experience that it works very quickly. But it might have something to do with the fact that this room is a little bit cold. It's been several days. I've smoothed this several times and I've always had it hanging in the jar with the acetone in this position and I noticed it started working from the bottom and the longer I would leave it in the more it would work its way up. It's probably had two or three hours in total in there in a couple different sessions and so the smoothing's worked a little past halfway. Decided to bend up a wire. This is part of an old bucket handle so that I can put the knob in this way up and the gases from the acetone seem to be heavy so they're filling up more they're more effective down here so let's put her in the jar I notice this gets sticky so we want to make sure it's positioned so that it doesn't uh, doesn't get against the wall anywhere Try to finish acetone smoothing this so we can finish our popcorn scooper handle. I think 
that's it. This is where everything could go wrong. This pinch makes the uh, handle, makes it difficult to fit the handle hole on there. I don't want it to uh, break my handle that I made by putting any undue stress on it, so I'm going to heat it up, hoping that I can push it in and it'll the plastic will relax around it because of the heat that's in the part. Not sure how hot it is, but let's give it a try. Oh, not enough. Went on, uh, I don't know, eighth of an inch. Well, it doesn't want to go real far. This may be the flaw in my great plan. There it is. Let's go try it out. Awesome. Worked great. Another completed project on the Crafted Channel. You can do it. The technology's out there. You've got the skills. Have some nice hot popcorn. Yum. See you on the next one.